Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here. Today we have Juhan, Juhani's Lights EP album. Looking forward to it. Definitely excited. Um... It says it's the first mini album, and I always get confused because I guess we don't count mixtapes as albums. But like, I don't know, I'm always like, but it's not, it's not the first one. But whatever. Technically, first mini album. Um, so looking forward to let's hop into the video. Hey, so the first actual few songs aren't even the ones with the music video. Uh, hype energy and voice. I feel like this might be an instrumental, or the next one might be. I love that intro. Mm -hmm. Hey, no mercy. Hey, referencing. Okay. Hey. No. Why, why, why? This makes me excited. Cause um, I've been missing this this Juhan. I feel like the energy part is a reference to a song. I feel like I've heard him say that. I don't know which song it was. I'm the energy. I'm a battery. I'm your energy. Shut up. Oh, this is it. Like, what do you want from me, Johan? You say I'm not loyal to you being my bias record, but I'm, I'm back, man. I'm here for you. It's hard in Monstax. We flipping around so much. Hard to pick a bias record. But it's always been him from day one. He's always like kind of been my bias record. Cause he's the one who got me into the group, his rap and uh, shootout. I mean, young one, you know, he had me with those looks, but uh, John was looking my bias at first. Ooh. Oh, I like this picture. Oh, okay, vocals. Why, this one feels like a mixtape more than the mixtape. The mixtape kind of feels like an album. It's so interesting. Well, how do you classify it? What is considered a mixtape versus an album? I love these like types of songs where it has these choirs in the back or whatever like the voices harmonizing yeah this is more like an intro give me the mic oh. oh but i think about i keep thinking about my concert Was this app? Was this the song he sang at the concert? I don't. It sounds like it, but I don't think it is. I need to hear this part. I think it is. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know. I could be wrong. Cause he did two songs. Oh, Juhan. Ugh, the concert name changed so many times I had to think about it. It is? I knew it. I was like, something's familiar. 
Yes. Oh, because I got the key. I was like, wait. He's saying this at my concert. I'm so happy. But it's so short. He's saying it at all the concerts, I think. But. It sounds better live, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, it's because like, it was just so hype in the concert, like, but it's still hype, man. I'm just saying, like, having heard it live before I heard it, like, this is one thing. If you hear it live first, it doesn't hit the same recorded. Yeah, I don't know, the concert kind of... I still love it though, I'm adding to the playlist. Oh wait, are we getting emotional? The thumbnail didn't look emotional. I mean, he's a vocal king, so maybe he'll sing for this one. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, so we have a vocal. So pretty. Oh, this is so cool. For him to do a vocal song? So far. He'll probably rap later. I don't know. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> he looking like a hot say from Big Ten. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I just really, I want, I want Johan to get more recognition. See, I feel like Johan, Johan is very known in K-pop though. Like, that's the weird thing. But I still feel like he's underrated. Like, I want him to be like GD, Tablo, um, Zico. Like, I want him to be like one of those names. Like, I want him to be that. Like, I want more for him. Cause he's so funny, he's so cool, he's he's a good singer, he's a great rapper, like, I, I just... Cause right now he's giving me such GD energy, like with the vocals and the rapping. Like it's, it's kind of like untitled. I mean, I, I don't try to compare it to a masterpiece or anything, but you know, it's kind of like untitled. Oh! All oh, these chorus. This is a song. I'm feeling it all. Let's go. This is a song. Like this has this has switches and flows and choruses and Switch up a song without it being too like uncalled for, you know? Because it still has elements of the other part of the song. An artist here, let's go. Because it's, it's calling back to the other part of the song. Let's. What? Are we starting a revolution?
of a headache. <laughs> oh my god. Like, you just don't understand. This is so beautiful. Like, this is a song. Like, this had a story. Like, this was beautiful. And it showcased, like, rapping, vocals, and dancing. But, like, nothing felt forced in it. This is art. This is probably my favorite title track this year. I, I might say so. I had to think about it. Like, it's not a catchy. Well, it is kind of catchy, though. But, like, you know, it's not like a, like a, uh, love me like this, love me like, like, it's not like, you know, but, like, it, it's just perfect. Like, it was literally a perfect song. Like, I, I'm, I'm blown away. It was beautiful. Is he like discussing himself like he doesn't know himself but he knows more than he did back then? Hence evolution. I feel like, is he talking to himself? I feel like that's what he's doing. Oh, I think it's my, I don't know why my blade one's my favorite. Oh, they're so short, but like, I kind of, I get it. You know what I mean? G Soul. I feel like they did a song with G Soul. Or I feel like I, I feel like G Soul was on like a song with him. Or I've heard his name at least. I don't know. I think I think it's someone else. Ooh. Jisoo has a pretty face. I have a pretty voice. Ooh. Mm. 
구멍이 써 어둠 속 희망처럼 go go z it 난 아직도 그때 기억해 도시 속에 활보하던 거리 흥얼거리던 노래 yeah, it's like he's talking in like third person about himself in a lot of the songs. But I like it's called monologue and it's like discussing the monologue in his head and saying like he remembers everything about those moments when he would be alone. This one might be my favorite. I didn't feel this album was actually like so good. Oh, it's so good. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, dun, oh, dun, 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 dun. I love you, man. Love you, man. That was she gonna know you're the why I love you, man. So she was really a nigga, and I let you know that go back to my old house, and I get my own ass in the pool. Wow, that was beautiful. And I love this last title. Is it suits him very much? This one sounds quiet. <laughs> Who's like the first person who like used this phrasing? I feel like I've heard it my whole life. Okay. Oh, this is a short song. Wait, yeah. I thought this one was a little longer. A lot of these songs are like perfect for concerts. Which makes me think, is he gonna have a solo concert? Because he has his mixtape, so. Too short, too short. These songs are so short. There were like, what, six of them? And the video's only 20 minutes. <sighs> Dang. I don't mind it too much when it's one person though because like I feel like it's more you can feel how short it is more when it's a group of like a group together and their songs like two and a half minutes um I feel like solo artists get away with it a bit more because it's only one person his is clearly almost like this, this album is almost like a journal for him and I'm very glad he got to use this music to kind of let out his feelings I feel like all these were very self-reflective and it seems like it was something he's been wanting to sing about and I'm glad he finally got it. I mean, the mixtape even was pretty sad too sometimes. But I kind of feel like this is like a like a journal entry 
and I'm glad he shared it with us. Like I said, her voice live. So it took me a minute to realize I was like, oh, I think this is the one he did at the concert. I feel like the one at the concert was like more aggressive though. Like, or maybe he was just going off that day, but he, it, I remember distinctly. But yes, probably one of the most memorable performances was that and her ones. Um, but yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to more of you continuing on with the show. One look and on Patreon, I am checking out some month's decks. I was trying to watch one of their shows, but it doesn't have the rest of the episodes because the universe shut down. So I don't know where to watch it now, but I'll be doing something else. So if you want to join in June, definitely should. Or now if you want to, but it will charge you at the beginning of the month. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!